really warm out today. Oh, the hummingbird. The hummingbird is complaining that I'm coming in my side yard. That noise is the hummingbird. This is the result of the mold. The leaves turn brown. But but the uh, squash are still growing. They're still growing. So I think even though even though the a lot of the leaves have turned brown, I guess there's enough good leaves to support the plant. And I must have caught it in time. Maybe. Maybe I caught it in time. This is the one that had the worst mold. And see how it's all brown. Yeah. So over here, these plants I think will do better. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray the rest of these leaves while the hummingbird chirps at me. Whoa. They really, man, <laughs> those, oh, those hummingbirds, they're so aggressive. Oh, there's two of them. They're like uh, really fighting each other. Yeah, man, it's just swarming all over the place. <sighs> Okay, so I'm going to finish uh, spraying the leaves. There's the hummingbird. It's brave enough to come close by. I guess they get used to the people. Maybe it knows me. They really drink a lot of that fluid. It's really drinking. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's two. Man. Yeah, it's like... Uh... <laughs> they really fight each other. Those little birds are very aggressive. They're tiny, but they're very courageous little birds. Yeah. Okay. So the leaves are all sprayed, and now I want to show, I do have some more tomatoes that are getting ripe. I picked one this morning, and I wanted to show the uh, sunflower, but I, I have some miracle Grow that I'm going to um, scoop out on the plants. So... That is the sunflower. That's what it looks like now. I'm going to try and turn it towards me. They're just like swarming all over the place. Those hummingbirds. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, they're, they're just waiting for me to leave. They're really getting upset that I'm out here. And I'm, I'm going to have to go inside. They're just really, oh man, they're swarming all over the place. I'll just have to come back, uh, I'll come back out later and show the sunflower. Okay, I wanted to show the sunflower how big it is. This is a bloom. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how many seeds. I guess I'll see if it it creates any seeds. And there's some tomatoes that are starting to get ripe on my other tomato plant. Yeah, I have a lot of tomatoes. Okay. Yeah, so that's my side yard update for today. I think this bloom when it opens up, it's going to be bigger than the other one. A ripe lemon fell off on the ground while I was at my mom's, and it and it got like moldy. I guess I didn't pick it soon enough. It's like mushy. So, well, I can hear this buzzing by my head, and I know it's a hummingbird. Okay, so I'm going to prune my basil. It's getting really tall. I need to prune it because I want to make some more pesto. And I heard that when the uh, leaves dry up like this on the squash, you should prune them off. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through and, and prune off the dead leaves. I think the stalk is still good. It's green. So I'll leave the stalk of the leaf. But I'll prune off the, uh, the dead leaves. And here, I'll prune this one here. I think what I'm going to try and do is uh, take some cuttings of the stock and try and transplant it so I have another rose just like this one. Maybe one or two. I think I, I would like to have a, a few of the same type of rose because I really like those flowers. And notice this, this bloom, or this, this here, this flower. It's turning to the left. You can see it sort of turning towards the left because that's the direction of the sun. So that's what sunflowers do. They turn towards, they follow the sun. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and prune these leaves and I'll prune the basil and then I'll show what it looks like after. Getting a lot of good ripe tomatoes. I'm gonna make some more salsa. Yeah, that's a good tomatoes. And have some tomatoes for my turkey sandwich. This is really looking pretty. Sunflower. Okay, this is how much basil I got. And I pruned it. So it's going to get more and more like a shrub. And this is what the squash plants look like now that I pruned off the dead leaves. And I put it in the pot so it'll like compost and uh, have, you know, good nutrients for the soil. Okay, so this is still growing. This squash is getting pretty good size. I need to pick that soon. This one over here also. So, um, yeah. 
I also have one here. I had sort of hidden away. Didn't see it. There's one hanging there. And then there's one over here growing into the tomato. Into the tomato pot. Okay. So that is the update so far. This is my pruning update. Yeah, that looks pretty sad squash but that's what happens when the, the mold gets to the leaves now I know I have to catch it early enough to save the leaves <laughs>